let's talk about how do we use our corporate teams environment to share information with guests, people that are not part of our organization. Can we do that? And what does that look like when they receive it? And do they really have limited access to our system? And do they have to have a license in order to do that? All of these questions and more we're going to ask, excuse me, we're going to answer in this short video, inviting guests to your team's environment. So stay tuned. So we've gone ahead and created this group called finance and inside of finance, as you can see, we have one guest and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. You could click here to add more people. If this shows up, sometimes it doesn't depend upon what your environment looks like, but I'm going to click here where it says add a member. Now I can just type in the member that I want to add. This member happens to already be here. So I would just click on there and hit add. And then you can see here that I have a member of this team. Now, once I've added this member, an email message is automatically going to be sent out. So here I received this email. I received it saying that I've been invited to this finance group. Remember, this is the group right here. One of many teams in my organization that I've been invited to here. So I said, yes, open up teams. Now notice that my team's environment here, okay, is not this team's environment. So you see this team's, it does have finance and it has general. We're just going to stay here with finance and do all of that just to show you kind of how it works. So here I'm inside of finance. I can see that everything's good. Notice I only see the team that I'm assigned to. I do not see any other team. I just see this team that I've been invited to. Oops, they're going to click on files. They should only see the one document, right? Same document right here that's inside of finance, right there, general. There you go, documents, general. Notice I cannot see any other files in the system. If I go up to documents, I can't go any further up. That's all I see. If I click on files here, it's going to be the same thing, just one document. So that's pretty nice. I can also see the chat, right? So. I can say, hey, I want to have a chat here so I could do chat within this environment and I can see the activity. The cool thing is here that this user account, notice it says Lush Advisors up there because that's the tenant. But notice here, this is a guest. And if I go to my waffle in here, this is a free Outlook account. So I click on my waffle here to see what applications I have available. Notice Teams isn't even here. This is the free account that I can get from Outlook.com. Teams isn't even here, but because I'm connected to a tenant that has Teams, I can go ahead and use the functionality of Teams. And that's how you're able to use a Outlook Teams environment with the free, with the free version from Outlook.com and still be able to communicate, share files, share posts, and do other types of things that are enabled by, um, in this case, Lush Advisors, but it would be by whoever it is that shared the meeting with you.